We are talking about Eat, Eat, Drink, Read. Uh, it is the San Diego Council on Literacy's annual culinary event, which raises literacy awareness and funding for their ongoing efforts. So here to tell us more about that is Jose Cruz, CEO of the San Diego Council on Literacy. And we're going to introduce the chefs here in just a moment. Uh, but Jose, want to talk about uh, this issue of literacy. This is the 10th year, and somebody had this great idea to why not appeal to what San Diegans all love, which is food. Food to help yes. to help people who are struggling with with reading. So we wanted to do something different, not a gala, not a reception, just a, a, a place where people could go, a new audience for literacy, a new supporting audience for literacy to enjoy food, the chefs, the books, just the whole theme, San Diego, the San Diego Air and Space Museum and it's working. Yeah, so a lot of people are surprised when they hear about some of the numbers of, of how many people are struggling with literacy. Can you talk about some of the numbers sure. here in San Diego County? Specific? San Diego is not much different than the rest of the country. We do have more, more immigrants, more people whose first language is not English, mm -hmm. but even 75 percent of the adults at the lowest level of literacy they are native English speakers, so we have uh, uh, about 20% of the adult population in San Diego County and in the U.S. who are at that lowest level, and we're, we're providing resources, not just to them, but also to their children, because they're also affected. They're kind of struggle, yes, their parents yeah. are not able to read to them, and you have families that, that can't afford books. And so 60% of low-income children who have no books at home. So we're, with our partners, filling these resource gaps and providing and I, services. I've done stories with some of the, the members of, mm -hmm. of Literacy Council, the people who are affected. And it's it's wonderful to hear people's lives being changed by, by what the Literacy Council provides and also the volunteers that mm -hmm. help to, to make that progress a little easier. You know, for some people, their dream is to be able to read or read better or read to their children. Mm -hmm. It's something fundamental to yeah. a lot of us, but to that 20%, you know, they're missing out and they know it. And so here's an opportunity for them to, to make up for, for lost time. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to talk about uh, some of the food that you can experience on Thursday uh, at at this event. So let me go over here and start with some of our some of our chefs. Okay, right. give me your your name and your restaurant. My name's Justin. I'm the chef of Waypoint Public in North Park. Okay, what are you making for us? So here? we're pairing our dish with the Giving Tree, which is right, one of my favorite we should, books. We should explain that you were all had to create a, a recipe that went with one of your your favorite books. That's so correct. That's, that's a correct. good one. <laughs> so uh, what we did here is we made an apple cured pork belly oh my goodness and we serve that with an applewood smoked apple puree and local mustard oh my gosh that smells fantastic i wish people at home could smell when are we going to come up with smell of vision okay and over here Hi, my, my name is uh chef duran from casa guadalajara in old town casa guadalajara and you you also see avocados everywhere right? exactly <laughs> I, mean, I see food everywhere everywhere Tell us what you mean. Is this a chicken okay, mole? And this, this is, is my based, favorite. In, uh, this is oh. a traditional uh, mole poblano that we serve at the restaurant and we just get uh, in the book. And uh, I want to just show you how to... How to we, plate it up here. How to plate okay. it up. This is mole that I made it fresh, see? Oh. And the, the funny part is when you uh, put some uh, garnishing, like for example, put some sesame seeds. Ah. See, and then. Then the all important onion. The onion. The onions. So tell me what your secret is, because I make a chicken mole and it just does, it doesn't even look that good. Carlos is gonna take it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's your secret? That uh, mole is based to the traditional Mexican cuisine that I've been researching in the books also about the the flavor and the spices that oh, uh, wow. get, see, 21 um, spices. 21 spices. Yeah, yeah, that's a traditional a uh, mole from Puebla, Mexico. <laughs> that is a beautiful story about how do they discover the mole. Uh, well, it yeah. smells delicious, and I'm going to taste it after the break. So. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And the last but not least, we have. Hi. My name is Filippo. I'm the chef from Solare. We are an Solare. authentic uh, Italian restaurant, farm oh. to table in Liberty Station. And tell us about the book you chose here. I chose the book. This is an Italian version. Of course. Uh, <laughs> the Little Prince, which Aww. my grandma used to it's read it to book. me. So this plate and this book is my grandma's house. And Aww. this is a cured pork. We salt it for two days and then we boil in a white wine and we serve on a bed of uh, this 
particular uh, beans that are Sorano beans, uh, very tiny white beans. You're great with those big giant tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> and you know when you can tell that the food is really good is when these chefs are having the other chefs taste their food, which is what I witnessed while I was over there doing news. You guys were sharing each other's food and I could see the chef shaking their head going, oh yeah, that's pretty good. What'd you, what'd you do over there? So you know you're going to get good stuff. So uh, Thursday, Thursday, and you need to get tickets in order to attend? $75. $75? Uh, go to literacysandiego.org. It's at the San Diego Air and Space Museum, Thursday, May 2nd, 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Music, food, uh, plenty to drink, great company, great atmosphere, great museum. So Great museum. Yeah. You're, you're not going to be disappointed, that's for sure. So there's the information, and you can find it again on our website at KUSI.com. Thank you, gentlemen, so much Thank for you. being Thank here you. this morning. Well,